The All the Thanks Stamps and Dies is a continuation on this really great line of stamps. There's been birthdays and hellos and Merry Christmas already done, so it's perfect to have a thanks. So you have this solid stamp with the lined, you have a thanks in a hexagon, you have these thanks that kind of intermingle with each other so you can stamp in two different colors, and then several different other thanks dies here in various sizes including some thanks dies. You have one stitched die, a handwritten one, and one that cuts directly out of the cardstock, and then the hexagon that coordinates with that thanks. So you can go ahead and stamp all of your thanks here in different shades for a quick and easy card, and you can pick your own color palette for endless possibilities. If you feel that you need something to pop out a little more, you can pop in with the outline of the thanks and give that a try as well. So that makes for some really fun sentiments and quick and easy cards. Now let's take a look at some of the other stamps here. So you can see I was able to stamp T-A-K and of course it's going to say thanks when it's all finished. And so I'm going to line up the other ones here and stamp in a different color. This allows me to just get more variety with my sentiments. You can of course go in with some of those outlines. Each one of these letters has their own outline so you can really emphasize certain letters if you like or all of them if you feel like they need that extra pop. All you do is line them up and then you can of course if you're using your MISTI tool stamp all three at the same time which is really convenient. So here you can also take a look at some of the possibilities that come with the stamp set. You have this handwritten one, a small one, two medium size and the hexagon thanks as well that coordinates with this specific die. So let's see what the die cuts look like that also come in this bundle if you choose to purchase both the coordinating stamps and the dies. So first off is this thanks that you can stitch right into the cardstock for a very subtle thanks die. You have the handwritten thanks as well as thanks that can cut out into the cardstock so out of a rectangle, circle, whatever you like. And of course because you're cutting out that shape you're going to get the individual letters as well that you can also use. And then you have the heart and the frame to go around the hexagon. Now don't feel like you have to choose between your thanks dies. You can use a whole bunch of the stamps and dies and coordinate them together. So I decided to go ahead and just stamp this really small thanks randomly along the cardstock in order to make my own sort of patterned paper you could say. I decided to stamp in three colors because I'm going to be adding a couple of hexagons here to the center. So I'm not really concerned about stamping everything here. I'm just kind of making my way up towards the top. When I was finished, I added some glue to the back of these hexagons that I had cut out in honeysuckle, grapefruit, and starburst cardstock. And I decided to start by adding one to the top, one to the bottom, and then adding the center hexagon. I think this is a really fun way to play with geometric shapes and to use those stamps that you know, might seem really small, but are really impactful when added to a card. Adding, of course, a pop of black will just make the rest of the colors just really pop. So I added that to the center of the card here, and I think it looks absolutely fabulous when it's finished. Another thing that I tried out was creating my own pattern paper using a variety of the Thanks stamps. So I started with the largest ones and outlined them in some dark ink, added in some of these smaller Thanks using some start first cardstock or stardust cardstock sorry and then I went ahead and added a couple of little ones in there as well. I was just having a party of thanks here on this cardstock and then I decided to go ahead and add in a focal point on this card. I started with some honeysuckle but decided that it was going to get lost there and it didn't quite coordinate too well and then I settled on some mushroom ink examples backed by some stardust cardstock and I think both of them look really great when they're finished.